In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.14.2 using a program called Optifine which is absolutely awesome. Now if you're new to the channel we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in that kind of content. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually we're going to go to the Optifine website. So this is optifine.net forward slash downloads. There is a link in the descriptions in the resource section. Um, so at the minute, there isn't any official version for 1.14.2. However, if you click on this button at the top right here, preview versions, that will then open up all of the different preview versions. And you'll notice there is right here Optifine 14.2. Two, which is the one that we actually want uh, and it's pre-6 at the minute so all that number is if this does change I know it did with the 1.14 uh, uh, tutorial that I did if that number does change it'll just be higher versions so it'll be higher preview versions newer ones so let's go with those now if we just click on download for this this will take us to basically an advert kind of thing if you ever get any of these notification type stuff I always go on deny and then you just have to wait three seconds right in the top right hand corner here and then you click on skip ad. Anything in the bottom of that, uh, completely ignore, only look at the top. What you'll then get is this kind of section here, which will actually have the real download. So again, it's on optifine.net. Make sure to check that in case you have clicked underneath. Uh, and then just click on that one to start downloading it. And what you'll then get, uh, I got it very, very quickly. There we go, get a nice advert there. Um, what you'll then get is if you're using something like Chrome, it'll say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you wish to keep the preview? Um, this is because it's a .jar file, so it's the exact same as a .exe file. Um, you're kind of like a internet, whatever you're using, your internet browser will most likely say, be careful this because we don't recognize it. Um, it's absolutely fine. Just click on keep for that one, and then that will just finish up. So what we actually need to do is if we go and grab that, and I'm going to try and also fix a couple of the issues that you guys do have. So I'm going to go on date modified so we get the latest one. There we go right there. So preview Optifine. If we double click on that, now you'll notice that mine has a little Java icon. Actually zoom in a little bit here. Well, quite a lot there. Um, so what you actually notice, yeah, it's got a little Java icon. A lot of people have said that they've actually had it where it opens with something like WinRAR, and that's just because of your default for opening it. If you go into Properties, your default for open, open with will be something like WinRAR instead. Uh, so you might actually have it all looking like that. So you have them looking like WinRAR. So just change that over to Java. Okay. Now you can also just do it okay and apply. Um, you can also do open with if you wanted to keep it as that. And then you can see Java's on there. Or you can do choose another app. And then you can also go to more apps. And if Java isn't in this list, now you will need to install it. That's one thing you need to do. Um, you can go to your program files. You can go to Java. You can go to, I've got two different versions of Java where I got um, seven and eight on here. So I can go on to Java 8, into the bin, and then I can actually run it with the Java w.exe. That is the one you actually want to run it with. If I do OK now, mine's actually going to error. It should error. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. So let's just do install. There you go. So it will come up with this Minecraft version 1.14.2 was not found. You need to start the new version 1.14.2 manually once. So this is because I haven't run a default one for it to install over the top of. So I'm just going to do OK. Going to leave that to the side here. And I've got my Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, I haven't got 1.14.2. I actually have got it on the latest release. Um, so I'm actually just going to, you know, press play on that. Let that load up. And then I'll catch you guys after that. But basically load it once. And then close the window, and that's absolutely fine. And they can rerun it, and we'll get on to doing that. All right, so there we go. I've run 1.14.2. Um, that's all gone fine. I've then closed it. Um, I'm going back to this box again. I'm just going to press install. Most likely, you guys will just go straight through. Um, if you do get an error, a kind of like Java error, where you're actually either trying to just double click on that, run with Java, and you've got Java installed, there is actually a program called, I'll just load up, uh, called Java Fix. So, um, yeah. This Java fix type thing is brilliant. Uh, what this will do is it will fix a load of common problems, so I do go and recommend running that. Um, I haven't personally tried it, but um, a lot of the people that did report issues said that they ran a Java fix, and that actually, well, fixed a lot of issues. It basically just, you know, goes and corrects a load of different things that are wrong with a Java install. And it's not your fault for the wrong Java install, it's just something that just happens. So we go, Optifine is successfully installed. So what we now get, if we double click on our Minecraft launcher, we should now get a new profile. So it's defaulted for me. Um, again, a lot of people said that this didn't actually happen for them, which was really strange. But what you, are, you should see is an Optifine uh, 1.14.2, Optifine HD, blah, 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 blah. And it'll have the actual version after that. So then you can at least click on play. And this will then start you up with a new Minecraft, which has shaders. So let's jump in that after it's all loaded up. 
Alright, so what you should then get, of course, is your Minecraft ver version's all nice and opened, and it's all looking good. Um, now, what you should then get in your options now, so you should be on to options, then go on to video settings. You'll get a load of extra options with Optifine. Optifine's absolutely great for optimizing. Um, so you get, you know, it, it's like your normal typical kind of stuff, but uh, your render distance you can now whack up to 64 chunks. It's um, uh, pretty crazy, actually. Um, I can't remember if you can actually do that now anyway. But yeah, you'll have this shaders button anyway. So if you click on shaders, you'll probably have nothing in there. What you can then do is you can click on shaders folder. And then this will be in your main Minecraft kind of folder. Same as resource packs. They are slightly different. So you've got a resource packs in there, uh, just like you normally do. And you'll have this shader packs kind of folder. So same kind of structure. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a shader pack offline, or online even. It's going to be Trilliton shaders. So I'm going to get his Trilliton shaders V8 1.13 ready. Click on that one and download it. And there we go. Click on download from that one. Get a nice thing from saying my PC's running slow from ABG. Um, but there we go. So I've got this one here. I'm just going to drag that into, there we go, that shader packs folder like that. And what we should have in game, there you go, instantly appears. So what you should then get is you've basically installed a shader pack. Now one thing you'll notice that I did is I did not unzip it. So it says .zip file, but I didn't unzip it. So that's one of the differences between resource packs and shader packs. Uh, you don't need to unzip it at all. So we just click on that one. It'll do this kind of like loading screen type thing. And then it'll kind of flash back. So there we go, we get this onto here. Now if you do want to go off of shaders and back to the normal ones, just click on internal. Um, if you click onto off, you'll get that loading screen again. And every single time you need to do it, you actually get that. Um, Trilliton actually told me about that one. Um, and it does actually save quite a bit of time when you're loading. It's getting quicker and quicker, but you never know. So there we go, we're on done. Let's do done, done, get onto that. I'm just going to go into single player. And apparently I got one called New World, so yeah, I'm going to open up New World, which was 1.14. Uh, 1.14.2, yeah, that's fine. I know what I'm doing, it's fine. I know that it's not going to be um, anything of an issue, but I'm going to open this up. And let that load, and I'll catch you guys when it's all loaded. And then, just like magic, we've got shaders working. Now, a couple of people have said that they've had issues with, um, well, a couple of different things. So, some of the people said they don't like the blur too much. So, I'll show you guys how to turn that off. That's the depth of field, which means you get, like, you know, if you're looking uh, far away, the stuff that around you becomes blurry. Or if you're looking, like, close, then the stuff around you, uh, but in, in the distance, gets blurry. So, you can go on to options, and then you can go on to video settings and your shaders. Now, a lot of shader packs actually have their own options built into them. This is something really, really cool. So, you can go on to shader options down at the bottom here. And you can, for example, go on DOF, which is depth of field, and you can switch it off if you want to. Uh, totally up to you. Um, I, I quite like it. Um, so there we go. That's how you get that sorted out. I know that some people didn't didn't quite like it, but uh, I do. Um, the other thing is that sometimes you will have it where it doesn't look like this. You know, you get it where you can almost like look through the water and it doesn't work the other way. The only way to really fix this is by getting another shader pack. So um, in your shaders folder, if you just, you know, again, we just switch over to this if we just uh, yeah open up your shader pack uh, folder here there is a ton of shaders I've actually got a load of them right here so uh, stuff like Zeus uh, Silders as well a lot of people have had you know quite a lot of success with Silders if um, there's been some sort of issues with it so um, the only thing is the water uh, I haven't got I've got a really old version so the water isn't up to date but uh, you know there's what Silders looks like but you know mess around with it and see what your kind of like favorite uh, pack is. But hopefully this has all worked for you guys. Um, definitely do recommend checking out Trilitons because I'm, I'm really loving them. Um, they, I just think they look really quite nice and clean and very shadery and everything like that. But if you have had any issues at all, guys, do let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out. Also, if you guys do know the answers and you see it in the comments, uh, make sure to comment and uh, yeah, help out the people in the community. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.